Good morning, y'all. It's a good Sunday morning. It's currently 8.22 a.m. And we going to church this morning. We went to church last Sunday. We went to my boyfriend's church by his grandma and stuff like that. This Sunday, I'm back home because my mom had surgery yesterday. And I'm here to help her and stuff like that. So, we're going to church this Sunday. We're going to try to go to church next Sunday. And every other Sunday I can after that. So, just spend a Sunday with me. So, you gonna help me? Yeah. So, I took me a shower. I took her a little wipe off. I'm gonna take down my hair. And well, she the, the back of my hair. My dress. <laughs> yeah, I'll put on my dress later. Okay. Take down the back of my hair. And then I'm going to do her hair. Go find some shorts, huh? And brush out and wash our face and stuff. It's currently 9, 12 a.m., so let's try to hurry up. Y'all, I'm still working on my hair right now. I took all my braids out. But I'm going to do her hair with things before I finish working on my hair. So... <laughs> I'm in my car right now. My sister ended up uh, saying she was going to church too. So I went to her to come out. It's 10 06, church like 10 minutes away. Um, let me show y'all my fit, I guess. Too short, not too short. Very pretty. My, I don't want to do that, but uh, my sandals, my toes not done, y'all. Wait, my toes not done, y'all. I ain't know if I want to wear pink sandals or white sandals, but I ain't know what pink sandals. Cause they got pink in my dress, but not this kind of pink. But it's alright. You gotta be too matchy matchy. But um, I ain't know if I want to wear pink sandals or white sandals. But I, I ended up wearing pink sandals because the twin told me to put on my pink sandals. Full disclaimer, that is not my child for anybody watching who don't know me. That's not my child. I don't have no children. So, yeah, I'm just see y'all all the way to church. This church that I'm going to, uh, this is the, I believe this is the first church I ever went to. This is the church I used to go to when I was younger. My mom used to take us there to Abundant Life Church. I think that's where I found my first gospel song and stuff. That's the church that I used to be mad in and getting mad because I was finna cry and stuff like that. But I ain't really talk about that. I'ma just I'ma see y'all. Let me tell y'all how funny God is. How good he is. I'm finna cry. The song was, Oh, I feel his presence right now. The song we was playing. Song I was listening to on the way to church. Why I pull up to church and they playing that song in church right now? church church was so amazing it was so good i needed to be there she was like, crying yes i was crying i was gonna tell them that Shh. so <laughs> like i had said in a previous video the song i was listening to on the way to church when i pulled up to the church they was playing the song they was playing the song and they was singing it and they sung it throughout 
they sung it at the beginning of the church and they sung it at the end of the church and they sung it when they call people up to the altar that's another thing they call people up to the altar you know so everybody could uh you want to go to the altar get prayed for you know you lay it on it at the altar i went up to the altar willingly went up to the altar when i was young y'all and i used to go to church that's the same church i used to go to when i was young when i was young i used to go to church and they would call people up to the altar i used to be looking at my mama like she was crazy like girl why are you going up there i wish she would force us to go up there like you better go up there and she used to be like come on you better come up there like and you know we ain't had no choice to go because our mom made us i used to be so messing up there with our old with my arms folded and me mugging everybody and stuff like that but today i went up to that altar baby i was in me mugging i was crying it with my hands out praising god thanking god you know and stuff like that and then another thing that happened was i finally i joined the church y'all like when he was asking people like oh do you want to join the church and have a new church home and stuff like that da, 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 da. it was like I was hesitating to go up there. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna go up there or not. Should I go up there? Should I stay? Should I go up there? Should I stay? I was like in between. I was very confused and stuff like that. But you know, God is not the author of confusion. So when he said, this is your last chance, this is your last chance, I just went up there. Like I just walked up there and I was just so shy because you know, they're right standing there, staring at me and stuff like that. But then uh, I went up there, I joined the church, stuff like that. Um, and when church ended, a lady came up to me and she hugged me and she said, I was looking for you. I know who she was. And I was like, huh? She was like, I was looking for you. You joined the church. I was looking for you. Turn around and see if I could find you. And she gave me a hug and she said, God bless you. And I was like, uh, she said something else to make me say thank you, but I already forgot. And I was like, God bless you too. And I gave her a hug and stuff like that. And she was like, God told me that you needed to be up there today. And... And she was like, it's been a change. This week, something going to change. It's going to happen for you this week. And I was just like, like, God is so good. Like, when I be saying God is funny, that's just another way of me, like, trying to, like, take in how good he is. Trying to, like, really, like, I don't know how to describe it, but really, like, I don't know. What? But... <laughs> But God's presence was definitely there, was definitely with me. It was like because lately I have been like struggling with my faith and stuff like that. I've been struggling with praying, struggling trying to read my Bible. I've been like, like kind of sad, stuff like that. Just been thinking about a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on. I've been trying not to stress out at the word, stuff like that. And today, I today is just a total different mood, total different attitude and stuff like that. Like I feel better, I feel good. I'm not worried about nothing. Like the preacher was preaching about like how uh i'm sorry i just be running out of break but the preacher was preaching about like just letting god uh guide your life just say lord i need your help like lord i need your help what is this And he was saying, like, like when I just said something about attitude, he was saying, like, uh, uh, don't, don't ask God to change your circumstance. Ask God to change your attitude so that you will adjust to your circumstance. Because when your attitude change, your belief change, the way you look at things change, your motivation change. You got something to say? I'm repeating the thing that you're saying. Yeah, that's not bugging her nose. She got a sore on her nose because she had a little cold or whatever. What? I said. Uh uh, baby. I said. Also. Then what is it? It's a bubble. It's a soul. It's a bubble. It's a soul. It's a bubble. That I'm going to peel out. And it's going to peel it. Yes. Now I'm going to peel these two out. Now I'm going to this one. Right now. It's going to hurt. But yeah, y'all, the rest of the day, I'm probably just going to clean up. I'm going to cook because my mama can't cook, so I'm going to cook. Because she went to surgery. Yeah. And 
<coughs> I needed that. God is good. Y'all should surrender y'all life to Jesus Christ. Jesus, they have pregnant money. What? Get it. I'm finna go eat because I'm hungry. So, Me too. I'm gonna catch y'all. Uh, I'm gonna catch y'all later. Yeah, so, I low key kinda got settled down. Not really. But I'm just finna, I already made my hot links. If you don't know what hot links is, you need to go to Walmart, get you some. They're so good. Lately, I've been liking like either hot links, uh, uh, smoked sausage with some eggs and some rice. So I'm finna fix my eggs and my rice already made. Just got one more my rice. And I'ma get back to y'all. Hey y'all, I'm back. So the rest of the video was supposed to be about me like cleaning up and stuff like that with, with the rest that I did with my son and whatever. But I forgot to record and stuff like that. And I didn't clean up. I'm not cleaning up tonight. I'm not cleaning up tomorrow. I don't know. But after I finished eating, I had went to sleep. I took me a good old nap. And that was so good. It was so, so beautiful. Then I woke up and my cousin's birthday was the day. I went to his little uh, birthday get together, his little birthday party. It was nice. It was cool. It was good to like get out and like see people and talk to people like, especially the people in my family like talk to my family like constantly have conversations and like smile and just laugh and stuff like that like i fought back a lot of tears because some of my family i ain't talked to in a while like two years i ain't see them in like two years talk to them see nobody because like i've been so closed off and was going through a lot of stuff like that you know when you're going through certain stuff in certain situations stuff like that it make you closed off make you anti-social it make you like just shut down and shut in and stuff like that so now i'm just trying to like work my way to get back out there because i used to be like very outgoing and just cheerful and stuff like that and then i went through what i went through and it made me the complete opposite just quiet and like you know like to myself stuff like that so i'm just trying to work my way to get back like talk to people spend the time with people and stuff like that and today was good today was good and i really liked it and i wanted to cry because it was like wow like i haven't seen these people and i haven't talked to these people in this long stuff like that and when you just get back with them and the connection is there or like you know because you spent your life with these people and you have all these you know beautiful memories and life is short you know so yeah try my best to try to like get back keeping in contact with my family and stuff like that because I'm a better person today. I'm in a better situation, a better mindset, stuff like that. And then um, another thing is today in church, the pastor was preaching and the name of his sermon was, Lord, help me find a way. Like, it was, Lord, help me find a way. And he had three key points. One of the key points was, God, please give me understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. Then it was... Um, hold on then the other two key points was uh god is trying to tell you something and then the last key point was believe in the power of prayer so yeah and you just need this like he was saying like you should just surrender to god and just say lord i need your help lord help me find a way and he was talking about like in genesis when um can't kill his brother and stuff like that and then the lord had banned him and he was you know fugitive to the land stuff like that he was going from place to place stuff like that because you know the lord had cursed him or whatever and he really had no way so that's what i think my hand was gonna speak up. oh so that's what he had got it from but i'm just chatting i had braided the back of my hair i gotta braid this the front and uh, what you mean? Still, my watching Grey's Anatomy, my favorite cover show. And yeah, um, just when uh, my advice for the end of this video is just like 
be patient with yourself. Be gentle to yourself. Be kind with yourself. Like, if you went through something and it changed the person you were, you were to, like, a negative person and you trying to, like, heal from whatever you went through or, like, whatever trauma you had, stuff like that, like, just be patient with yourself because eventually things are going to get better. Eventually things are going to change. Eventually you'll get back to being who you were. Eventually you'll be back to smiling the way you was, laughing the way you was, you know, having fun the way you was. Eventually you'll get back to joy eventually you'll get back to the light for being in the darkness so just be patient just be kind with yourself be gentle don't rush the process do what you need to do for you even if it's not talking to nobody just being to yourself or like you know whatever you feel like is necessary for you to do what you need to do then you do that and you don't have to explain that to nobody you don't owe nobody nothing at all you know what I'm saying? And just let God lead you. Let let Jesus do the healing. Um, that's all I got to say. I'm tired. Good night, y'all. Thanks for watching. Make sure y'all like, follow, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Share with others. And good night, everybody.